Spain, Saragossa city founded by the Romans in 24 BC. Jan Patotsky describes this place in the book Manuscript found in Saragossa. Smugglers, robbers and gypsies lived in the forbidding mountains dividing Andalusia and Mancha. Those days are gone now. The international cutting circuit has been built on the desert plateau in Suera, close to Saragossa, in 21st century. Some time ago it hosted the European final for the KF3 category. There hasn't been a trace of Russians here recently, but everything is different now. Uh, it will be very important if uh, more Russian drivers come, or, or because it's, it's important to have all the sport and all the, the, the presence of as many drivers as possible, because that means racer will be much competitive. The concept of cutting competitions resembles Agatha Christie detective story Ten Little Niggers. The novel, considered best of the authoress, has been published with the title And Then There Were None, for political correctness reason later on. But in Russia its original name remained intact. Этот год стал ну, переломным, скажем так, и надеюсь, что на следующие, в следующие года будет больше попадать спортсменов. Но в этот год достаточно сказать, что выходцев из России в финал чемпионата Европы среди юниоров попало 5 человек. Правда, здесь было представлено только 4. The first missing little nigger, Edward Frenkov, couldn't come to Suera due to family circumstances. Now there are Daniel Kviat, Stepan Karasev, Dmitry Suranovich and Igor Arudjev. Five little nigger boys going in for law. One got into cancer and then there were four. The action-packed story called Junior European Final for KF3 is in progress. 77 drivers from 20 European countries. Italians are the most numerous, 14 of them. Nine Spaniards, eight Finns, then Germans, Britons, Frenchmen, Dutchmen, Swedes. But in racing, as you know, one can't succeed by dint of quantity. The quality is needed and luck. Мне попалась бракованная шасси новая, потом на следующий день попробовали другую шасси старую и получилось намного лучше. Мы прорывались, можно сказать, почти с последнего места. Дмитрий Суранович, the only driver from those in Suera who continues to take part in the Russian Championship this season. He's second in the general standings after three rounds and has qualified for the European Championship after successful performance in Belgium, where he finished 21st. Only 66th time in qualifying due to the ill-fated chassis. But qualifying is only the beginning. Four so-called qualifying hits follow. Those hits are short point scoring races. The less points you have, the higher chances to fight for the podium are. Но мне очень повезло, потому что я ехал одиннадцатым, и меня немного подвыбили, потому что я ошибся. Dmitry Suranovich hasn't qualified for the final part after the hits. Four little nigger boys going out to sea. A red herring swallowed one, and then they were free. In qualification, I had technical problems, and I couldn't reach one circle, and I was the last one. Из-за шесть кругов в хитах доехать с последнего места до первой десятки почти невозможно. Егор Аруджев, the youngest, began racing in KF3 at the end of the last season, managed to become one of the contenders for the crown after qualifying round in Belgium and showed good speed here in Spain, but got involved in a couple of accidents and the number of points scored in the hits wasn't enough to participate in the final part. В следующий год, я думаю, у меня будет все хорошо, потому что я стану взрослее, голова поумнеет, и сам буду ехать лучше. Three little nigger boys walking in the zoo. A big bear hugged one and then there were two. One more hero of our detective story is afraid of evil eye and refused to give an interview. Stepan Karasev demonstrated a brilliant performance in Belgium and stepped up to the podium together with Dutchman Nick de Vries and Finn Mika Pakkari. But in Spain, while Stepan was running away from TV camera, his team made a mistake with the weight and Karasev went out with 5 kg ballast in qualifying. In the heats he didn't manage to shine as well. As a result, Karasev turned into a spectator. A pity. Two little nigger boys sitting in the sun. One got frizzled up and then there was one. So there was one Russian qualified for the final race, Daniel Kvet. 
He started his career at home, but has been racing only in Europe during the last three years. He has speed, talent, determination. Results are there as well. Gvet has won about 10 races over the last year and is now the leader of the WSK International Series. This is that very driver that made Europeans respect other Russians. But in Spain, on the eve of the main weekend races, Daniel also suffered a setback. The engine had burned out. Да, то, что мы на прогреве сломали наш мотор, и перед финалом финала пришло всех с другим мотором. Перед финалом прошел настолько быстро и настолько было всего, то, что я даже плохо помню. Я помню, было много обгонов, помню, много было аварий, но в итоге я смог пробраться. Квят made his way up to the fifth position and had to start in the inside in the final. First two corners of Suero circuit are right, and it's better not to be on the outside in them. But in the final race, things didn't go so very smoothly for Kvyat again. He got involved into the fight, and when he was out of it, the first three had been rather far away. Five laps before the finish, Russian driver managed to catch and pass Raffaele Marcello and soon began to close the gap to Carlos Sainz, running second. The first laps, I was more or less like him, but then after five laps, he, were, he came faster and faster and faster and I had to get happy with that second place and try to maintain it with Daniel Kivat behind me. Carlos Sainz Jr., son of two-time world champion, reckoned for the highest result in his home, Suera. It didn't work out. Holland's Nick de Vries became the European champion. I had a really, I was quite nervous all day long because it's a really special day for me. I mean, this is my last chance to win the championship in KF3. I think it was just a, a great weekend. Russians may be happy too. Daniel Kvyat steps up to the podium of the European Championship for the second year in a row. To become third among thousand, try yourself. But Daniel seems to be unsatisfied. Преимущество. А второе место, если бы на, на первых кругах я потерял бы поменьше времени, тогда бы мог достать, потому что я его доставал. Anyway, our detective story has got the happy end. The epilogue is also there. My father is also from Russian and I like Russia a lot. I've been there. The Swede Lukas Machunskas was third fastest in the qualifying of the European Championship, 39 thousands of a second slower than Nick de Vries. Then he was not very lucky and finished 24th in the final. In the next season he plans to find his luck in Russia, but this is another detective story.